You'd have got the embassy. She's just worried about you, that's all. She wanted today to be perfect, didn't she? So did I. I thought if everything was perfect, you know, the dress, the flowers, the vows, then things would be different. But they're not. It's all a lie. Don't say that. You know that's not true. <laughs> really? And I got this this morning. RSVP from me, mate Michelle. Due to Ian's health, neither me or Ian can make your wedding. That's it. That's all she put. So she hates Phil. So what? She doesn't hate Phil. She hates me with Phil. We bring out the worst in each other. And the best? Yes, I'm we know what that sounds like to me. A marriage, for better or for worse. Don't know what our worse looks like. You know, we all can't be like you and Linda, the golden couple. I've known Phil most of my life, but sometimes I don't know him at all and he don't know me. We... We're not like you two. We don't have that trust. And you think trust just comes out of thin air? No, it's not easy for me and Linda. We have to work at it every single day. And sometimes we get it wrong. But we work at it, and do you know why? Because we love each other. Do you love him? Yeah. Always have. Well, then maybe you need to take that leap of faith and marry him. We've done some terrible things to each other, Mick. Yeah, but there's love. Isn't it? You know, it's like a double-edged sword. It's cut us both ways. It's... Oh. My friend, shouldn't you be over at the head night? No, uh, Linda sent her over here. She's got a surprise prepared for her. I think she'll probably be ready for you now, though, she? Yeah, she probably is. Right. Better for worse, though. Where's that, fellas? Ah, oh, yeah. finally! Oh, yeah. Smell of smoke. Well, some bloke spoke me outside a minute, but chain smoker must have stuck to me jacket, you know? What you done? Am I dealing you two in? Are we playing poker or not? No, I am winning poker. Oh, <laughs> well, you're lucky you've got a chain sometime, mate, Alfie, eh? Here, we go. Here is your match, sir. Hit me. Yeah, Mick, here's yours as well, mate. Hit me. Oh, well, no, mate. <laughs> Don't make me hit you. <laughs> Oi, that's a bit weird, ain't it, Peter turning up? Is it? <laughs> Not really, he's my mate. <laughs> oh, he just can't seem to take his eyes off you. There's nothing going on between you two, is there? No, of course there ain't. All right, keep your hair on. It's just since he turned up, the testosterone levels in there have gone critical. Really? I hadn't even noticed. It's nothing to do with me. 